Within the next few days, you'll be having a maths test. It's one of the most important tests you'll take at this school. It's in your interest that you perform well. It's vital for you and for the school that you don't let yourselves down. Remember, it's not how clever you think you are. It's the marks that you get that count. Right, that's break time. OK, off you... Morning. Morning. Gorgeous. I beg your pardon. Listen, I've been watching you, and I reckon we're made for each other. So, uh, what are you doing Saturday night? We could take in a few games of pool, sink a couple of bevies, have a laugh. I think I'm your kind of man. Oh, do you? Well, it just goes to show how wrong you are. Apart from the fact I'm very happily married to a man that doesn't treat me as if I'm some kind of an object. Even if I weren't. You're the last man I'd ever want to go out with. In fact, you're the last man in the whole universe I'd ever go out with. That includes the surrounding galaxies. <laughs> hey, Ben. We're just talking about this test. Yeah. It's as important as Mr Archie says. We could be in serious trouble. My leg goes ballistic when I get bad reports. Same here. We're trying to guess what sort of questions we'll get. Well, we know the maths. We know that, but what kind of maths? Mr Archer likes problems, and I hate problems. If only we knew. Look out, here he is! I wish I could read minds. Then I'd be able to find out the questions for all of us. <sighs> oh. What's the matter, Ben? Oh. Oh. What's you with? What happened? Simple. You wish to read minds. But I can't hear what anyone's thinking. It's all a jumble. That's because you can hear everyone all at once. What you'd have to do is concentrate on just one person. Are you all right, Ben? I hope he's all right. I really like him. I couldn't bear it if he got ill. No, I'm fine. It was just a little headache. <laughs> I reckon he's just pretending so he can get some attention. I don't need attention, Steve. Ben, come on. Oh. That means you lot. <laughs> now to read Mr. Archer's mind and find out the questions. What a mess. Oh, handwriting like a spider's crawled across the page. Oh, dear. I wish I was at home watching the golf on TV. Or even doing the garden. The roses could do with pruning. And the hedge needs trimming. Oh, Mr Archer. Yes, Miss Jude. I I'm sorry to interrupt your lesson like this, but I wonder if I could borrow your class pencil sharpener. Mine seems to have uh, jammed. Yes, of course. It's, um, it's on my desk. I'll get it. Oh, Miss Jute, if you knew how much I love you and adore you, but I'm just too shy to tell you. Oh, Mr. Archer, you wonderful, wonderful man. If only you knew how my heart sings whenever I see you. What <sighs> can I for a pencil sharpener? It's you I want to see all day and every day. Here you are, Miss Jute. Thank you, Mr. Archer. I only need it for a few moments, then I'll return it. Oh, there's no, there's no need. You hang on to it as long as you need it. Oh, Miss Jute, if only you knew that along with that pencil sharpener, you hold my heart in your hands. Thank you, Mr. Archer. You're very kind. Very, very kind. Oh, oh Miss Jute. Return to your work, huh? A teacher borrowing a pencil sharpener is not a cause for class discussion. <laughs> Uh, 
That looks very appealing, Miss Jude. And yours looks very nutritious, Mr. Archer. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see in the paper that comedian. Uh, what's his name? Got married again for the sixth time. Six times. They had photos in the paper of all his other wives. Every one of them the same. Buxom blonde, long legs. <laughs> I reckon he's cloning them. <laughs> I wonder if he's got one to spare for me. <laughs> to marry? Marry? Me? <laughs> Catch me getting married. <laughs> it's unlikely, I suppose, that any self-respecting woman would want to marry you. Representing as you do the proof that Darwin was wrong and that not all apes evolved into men, some stayed firmly in the simian form and merely put on a tracksuit. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Precisely. I don't believe you. I tell you, I can read minds. Wizard we granted me a wish. So that's how you knew what I was thinking. And about Mr. Archer and Miss Jude. Imagine anyone fancying Mr. Archer. You imagine anyone fancying Miss Jude. True. Weird. Hey! Why do you use this reading minds thing? To try and find out about that maths test from Mr. Archer. I tried. That's how it all started. And all he was thinking about was his garden and the street. Here. Do you know what I think? Of course I don't. I didn't get the wish. No. I mean about Mr. Archer and Miss Jude. Why don't we get them together? Why? Well, for one thing, it might make them both a bit less miserable. Well, that's true. How? Well, the inmates find them in their pigeonholes, pretending to come from each other. We? I can't do it on my own. I don't think this is a very good idea. I think it's a lovely idea. I didn't ask you. Anyway, they'll see it's a fake by the handwriting. Not if we type the notes. We haven't got a typewriter. No, but Miss Honeydew has. Come on. What's he up to? He's grabbing people to get sweets off them. Charlotte! He must have got hold of Charlotte! What? What? I know you got some sweets in that bag. Even if I had, I wouldn't give you any, you big lump. What's going on? Oh, look, Charlotte, it's your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. But he will be. Who are you smirking at? Leave Charlotte alone, or else. Or else what? Ah, my blister hurts. Or else I'll check on your blister. How did you know about my blister? Ben's got magic powers. Get off. He has. He could turn you into something really horrible if he wanted to. Looks like he already has. I just think I'm some kind of idiot. He must have seen me take my sock off in the toilet this morning. I wasn't anywhere near the toilet this morning, but I did wonder what that cheesy smell was drifting across the playground. You mad you are? Mad? All of you? I'm not hanging around mad people. <laughs> that showed him! Thanks, Ben. That was brave of him, and he's not bad looking. She's gorgeous. Ben! Eh? Mrs. Honeydew! I've got to go, okay? and tell Mrs. Honeydew the storm at the gate to see her. You go with her to make sure she doesn't come straight back. While she's out, I'll type two short notes. I don't know. Oh, come on, it's easy. Easy for you. You're not one going in. I'm the one typing the letters. <sighs> oh, well. Come in. Excuse me, Miss Honeydew. Uh, there's someone at there. Wait a moment, Stephen. I wish I could get rid of this pile of old junk. It's 
train. I have to go home. Well done, she's gone. So there's a typewriter. What, what happened? Ask WYSIWYG. I only granted her wish. Where's the typewriter? She threw it out the window. <gasps> oh, Wizzy Wig. It's not my fault. Well, we can't type the notes now. Yes, we can. How? We use one of the computers. Come on. <laughs> This rushing about isn't good for you. You want a mission of love? Yes? Uh, we were wondering if we could try something on the computer, Mr Archer. Mm, what sort of thing? We want to practice our um, computer skills, sir. See how the printer programmes work. I'm afraid you're out of luck there. Mrs Jenkins has taken our printer for testing. Oh, Miss Chute, Miss Chute, you are more than cute, Miss Chute. Right, sir. Thank you, sir. Miss Chute, Miss Chute. Well, it looks like that's that. There's no way I'm going to ask Mrs Jenkins. She'll bite her heads off. Ah, you mean she eats people's heads? Figure of speech, WYSIWYG. I know! There's a prince in Mr Morgan's room. I think we should give it up. We're not giving up. This is a mission to bring true happiness. Come on. Right. He's gone mad. I have not gone mad. Right, right, calm down. Didn't mean it. Anyway, it's not fair to read my mind when I can't read yours. If we could um, borrow your computer. What's wrong with your own? I hasn't got a printer. Uh, well, I'm busy on this, so get lost. Could you use it after you finish with it, sir? <sighs> you kids don't seem to realise that this is educational research. I want to beat my last score. Mr. Morgan. I knew she couldn't resist me, Mrs Jenkins. What can I do for you? I'm testing the printers today and I'll need yours this afternoon. Oh, yeah. I reckon she's been thinking about me. Right. Give me 15 minutes. I'll finish this uh, educational stuff, then I'll uh, bring it right over. Wink at me again and you'll be doing it with a black eye, you uncouth yob. Well, don't take too long. I haven't got all day. I'll be in the staff room. That's what I like. A woman with a bit of spirit. Hmm. <sighs> oh, I was doing brilliant as well. Can you sit down, Mr Morgan? No, you can't. I've got to find out what the... problem is with this thing. I'm going to get that highest score if it takes me the rest of lunchtime. Hot Lips Jenkins is going to have to wait a bit longer. Oh, go on. Clear off. The storeroom. That's where the princess will be. Where the staff room's next door. Mrs Jenkins will catch us. And she'll eat you. Missy Wig. Figure of speech. Don't worry. We'll just have to be very quiet. Ben, you're taking a great risk to bring two people together. Very great risk indeed. If you're caught, you'll be punished, put into detention, a note sent home to your parents. 
Perhaps this isn't such a good idea after all. Oh, it is. I'm proud of you, Ben. Gotcha! Ah! What are you up to? <laughs> Nothing! Oh, yeah? Well, I'll make you tell me. Ah! I wish ah! Steve would shut up. Ah! Ah! How did your little friend know about my blister? When are you going to ask me out? Love, Miss Jew. I want to go out with you, but I'm too shy to ask you. Yours, Mr. Archer. Miss Jute, Mr. Archer, isn't that a bit formal for a love letter? It's the best I can do. I don't know the first names. Now to print them. So you won't talk, huh? What's going on? That's what I want to know. How did you know about my blister? I wish you'd get lost. <sighs> my voice. You've lost your... I'm lost. Uh, Where am I? Oh. I bet you did this. You and WYSIWYG. Don't worry. I can read your thoughts. Help me. Come on, WYSIWYG. Let's go. Voices. What do you want and what's that shouting? Uh, Steve's lost his voice, miss. We've come to report it. I'm lost. I'm lost. Where am I? Help me. What? What on earth's the matter with you, Brian? I'm lost, miss. You certainly are. Now pick up those letters at once and put them back in the proper places. I'll help, miss. Brian can do it. He's the one that dropped them. But I'm lost, miss. Don't know where I am. What? Well, I've heard some excuses in my time, but really, I'll report you to your parents. Now get out of here. I'm lost. I'm lost. What are you two still doing here? Steve's voice, miss. Oh, yes. Take him to the medical room. But... <laughs> now! This is a disaster. It's all your fault. It's always your wig's fault. Why do I always get the blame when you humans make a silly wish? It's not fair. What do you think's going on in there? I don't know. I wish we were flies on the wall, then... No! <sighs> this is a nightmare. I know. I've seen the film. Wizzy, we help! I want to go out with you, but I'm too shy to ask you. Yours, Mr. Archer. How dare you! Beg your pardon? You, you creep! You're as bad as Mr. Morgan! But I, I mean, I don't... You men must think that all we married women can't wait to sneak off with abysmal creeps like you! Well, let me tell you something, Buster. My husband is a black belt in karate, and when he hears about this, you better take out some medical insurance. But I, I didn't write this. <gasps> Easy for you to say, now you know what my husband is. Mrs Jenkins... Get I... your hands off me! When are you going to ask me out? Love, Miss Jude. Uh, 
How about tonight then, darling? What? Me and you, a few games of pool, a couple of bevies, have a laugh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Judy, if I had known you felt this way about me before, we could have saved an awful lot of time. <laughs> so, eight o'clock tonight then. you say to that wonderful woman? She wrote to me. Miss... Miss Jute wrote this to you? Oh, dude, she's got a funny way of showing it. Still, she'll be back. <laughs> this is terrible. I wish I never started this. <sighs> Within the next few days, you'll be having a maths test. It's one of the most important tests you'll take at this school. It's in your interests that you perform well. It's vital for you and for the school that you don't let yourselves down. Remember, it's not how clever you think you are. It's the marks that you get that count. Right, that's break time. Off you go. What happened? Your wish was mainly for other people, so it counted. Phew. Pity about Miss Jute and Mr. Archer. I hope that. Oh, uh, Miss Jute. Mr. Archer? I wondered... Oh, that is, um... Yes? I wondered, uh... Are you doing anything this evening? This evening? Yes. You see... Uh, no. I... Oh. I mean, no, I'm not doing anything this evening. But I'd love to. If you're asking, that is. I am. I am. Good. Um... I know a splendid restaurant. Do you like Italian food, Miss Jude? I love Italian food, Mr. Archer. Leonard. Judy. Judy, Judy, Judy. <laughs> they had wishes too. Come on, Steve. Come on. There's a man about them. Just hurry up. I was terrible. No, you were. Yes, you were. I wish he were like a frog, then he could off it. <laughs> well, how was that? 